Hey YouTube, what's going on? Nick Newsom here, AKA the Rideshare Hacker. Um, so I'm in this video, I'm gonna to bring to you exactly how much I made last week driving for Uber and Lyft. I drove full time. I drive primarily in the premium modes, that's XL, Lyft Lux, Lux Black and Lux Black XL. And the reason I wanna bring you this and show you this is because um, some of you might need uh, better information to figure out if you wanna, if you wanna keep driving uh, for Uber Lyft economy, or if you want to step up to the the premium modes XL and above, and for some of you, maybe you're maybe you're not even driving yet, and you're thinking about want, wanting to become a driver, and you're looking for more information. And by the way, if you are thinking about becoming a driver, go ahead and use my link down below and get a huge sign-on bonus for signing up and driving for Uber and Lyft. Okay, guys. So I had a really good week. Um, you know, I probably made some of the most. This is probably one of the most money I've made uh, ever driving driving for Uber and Lyft. Um, it might be my second, my second most, maybe either my most or my second most, but it was a pretty good week. It, I was pretty happy with it. Um, I did, I was online a lot of hours, which I don't really like, but when I drive in the premium modes, I get a lot of downtime. So I'm not necessarily driving when I'm online. Uh, a lot of times I'm sitting in my apartment or I'm sitting in my car and I'm doing work on my computer because something I'm doing right now, I'm trying to get out of the, the driving game, the ride share game. So what I want to do is um, I'm building my online marketing business, my online, I have an online company that I'm building right now. And what I'm doing is I'm building uh, online sales funnel. So what I do, I, I build it for myself. I also build it for other people and I help people mar market their business or their product online. Um, so I'm doing that right now for myself. And honestly, I have like a toolkit out there. It's called the 2019 Digital Marketing Toolkit. I just finished this up. Um, it's an awesome product. It's, it's really going to help you if you're thinking about moving into the digital marketing space. Um, if you're doing anything right now online, it's going to help you boost your productivity. It's going to help you boost your traffic and boost your, your awareness to, um, you know, just the whole, your whole market out there. So go ahead. Uh, I'm going to put the link in the description below, but it's nicknewsome.com forward slash toolkit. Just go check it out, please. And, and let me know what you think about it. I'd love to hear, I would love to hear your feedback. Um, all right, with that being said, I think I got all that stuff out of the way. So new drivers, go ahead and use the link. Uh, if you wanna check out my, my products, go ahead to nicknewsome.com forward slash toolkit. The link is down below. Uh, what else, what else? Oh, and uh, I just did this 30 day challenge and this is with the top marketer in the world. So if you want to, like maybe you don't know what you wanna do. Maybe you wanna get out of the out of rideshare and you, and you don't know how you're gonna do it or which way to go. Um, I would highly suggest getting to internet commerce, like e-commerce, selling online. And if you don't know like anything about it, that's okay because you can take this 30 day challenge and after this 30 days, you will have like 10 years of knowledge in your head and you, you'll at least have more knowledge so you can make a better decision. I mean, and, and if all it did, if all this training did was just like give you more knowledge so you can make a better decision, I mean, it, it, it's... Wouldn't it be worth it? Wouldn't it be worth it for that to get out of the rideshare games, get out of driving all the time? I don't know. It, it is for me. Like, I want to get out of it. I want to spend more time, you know, at home with my family, with my daughter. And um, so that's something I'm trying to do. I'm trying to build that home-based business. But if you're interested in it and you want to check it out, it's totally free, risk-free. Uh, it's nicknewson.com forward slash 30 days. The link will be in the description below. Uh, and that's it. So thanks for listening to that. And now let's get to the pay. Let's see the numbers. Let's see how much money that I actually made this week driving full time for Uber and Lyft. Um, all right. So the first thing we need to do, let's go over expenses. So the main thing that was from last week, let me see if I can bring this down a little bit. Sorry. All right. Let's do this. Give that a click. All right. So right here is my car payment, right? You have to factor in how much you're paying for your car. I, like I said, I got, I got the new vehicle, the 2015 Acura MDX. That's costing me about uh, 184 a week, right? So my, my total payment, you can see it up here, is $800. Um, I multiply that up by 12, 12 months, uh, and then I divide it by 52 because 52 weeks in the year. So it gives me my average of how much it costs me per, per week, sorry, per week to drive this car. So it costs me about $184.62. That's with insurance, okay? And I actually, that's the insurance for my other car as well. So I'm paying a little bit more, you know, that's $184 a week, so that matters. You know, you gotta think about that, all right? So let's go, how much did I spend in gas, right? Because this is really gonna matter. So I'm just going through my app right now, um, going through my Uber debit account and see how much I spent on gas. I try to use only my Uber debit, so that way it just keeps my expenses all together there. 
Um, so we got uh, 24, 53 there. Uh, let's see, I got some other uh, 368. That was probably like for snacks and stuff. But that's okay because you can do that. Uh, gum, gum and water is okay to write off. Um, what we got here? Oh, we got another one. This is uh, it's food. It's like breakfast in the morning. A lot of that stuff. Oh, here's coffees. I know that for sure. Okay. Um, I drink a lot of coffee while I'm on the road. Probably makes me more agitated than I need to be. But, you know, whatever it is. Um, by the way, I'm um, just wondering, anybody that's watching, uh, my subscribers, thank you so much for subscribing. And uh, if you haven't subscribed, please do. I'm going to share, share my pay with you all the time. There's actually some more videos in here that you can see for yourself where I, I, I break down the day, um, showing you exactly how much I made on each ride. I'm not going to do that in this video. I'm just going to try to stick to the whole week and then uh, categorize my expenses. But um, there are other videos, and I'll, and I'll put them in the cards. You can you can check them out right above. It should come out, and uh, you can click on them. You can see how much I made in a day. Like I made some videos showcasing where I made like eighty to a hundred dollars an hour in some cases. Um, let's see. We got here's a ten dollar Starbucks and another three dollars something or other. Let's put that under here. Uh, 44.26 for gas. All right. All right, that looks like that. that's it right there. Um, I know I had some of my other accounts, so I'm just going to check that real quick. Just bear with me, guys. I'm, this will go fast. Just, just give me a second. I'll just do this one, and then I'm just going to load up all the earnings so you can see exactly what I made. All right, let's go here. Sorry, just bear with me. Oh, so I was wondering why you drive. Like, if you can uh, put in the comments below, like, what are you a driver? And, like, why did you start driving for Uber and Lyft? And also, like, where you drive? I'm just trying to get to know you a little bit better and figure out what's going on. Uh -huh. Looks like we got another copy over here. And then, let's go on. I'm going to pop that one. And all right, 41. 374. 49. These are all expenses that like I accrued while I was driving, so I have to put them in there, right? Um, some bits food, and you can write this stuff off, so I just make sure you guys do that. Definitely gonna write off all that gas. It's a lot of gas. I spend a lot on gas. Chipotle, like the first meal they actually did that week. Everything else was like homemade. Um, and I'm gonna do this one too. This breakfast was definitely on there. Um, let's try cleaners. Okay, all right, so that's those total expenses. Um, we're going to do, I'm going to go like this, sum everything up, enter, and then bring this over here. Okay. And then we'll do a total of the expenses right here. I don't know if you guys know how to use Excel or not, but this is a good example, good way to do it. So this is the total of all my expenses right here. Just kind of a lot. <laughs> um, so $431. I mean, that's including this payment, but look how much I spent on gas. I spent $200 almost on gas, which is, that's a lot. That's a lot. But some of this gas, I, I, this last one is um, one that's, uh, I'm still using half of that tank for today. <clears throat> uh, car wash. Hey, got to have a car wash. You know, I do that one on a monthly basis. I pay by the month and that's the breakdown per week. Five seventy seven. That's not bad. It's not bad at all. And that's unlimited car washes. Um, okay, so let's get into the pay. So Lyft, here we go. 834.33 for 27 rides, okay? 834.33. But let's break it down like this. 646.49. Right here. 
49. Uh, tips. What are we making tips? 2086. It's really bad, by the way. 2086. Bonuses. Bonuses. 144.58. Bear with me here, guys. Okay, you're getting down to the nitty gritty here. No cancel earnings, and then what I have in totals, 2240. All right, so 2240. And then I have that set. So when I put the totals in here, um, it brings it up over here. All right, um, so total earnings, 834.33. All right, now with Uber, unfortunately, Uber, um, they just put like the total you got here, but it doesn't give you a breakdown i have to go into each ride to get the total breakdown of everything that's happening here or i can download the statement but i'm just going to go off i'm just going to go off the app because it's easier that way because uh, i got the app right in front of me so i'm going to go ahead and pull that up and then um i'll give you the breakdown there hey guys thanks for staying with me here i know it's gonna be a little bit boring but let's go let's get it done so i'm going to go into my earnings on the app um okay let's go here and uh, we'll break it down for the week all right so for my trip earnings we have um 1061.89 so 1061.89 and there and then the tips is 59 dollars 59 dollars and let's bring this down here um Tolls of 71, 71, 05, and all right, and promotions at $94 in, in promotions. So $94 right there. So my total earnings for the week was, is what you see right there. Um, this, you know, this, this, but minus the expenses. There's my expenses, my total. So what we want to do now is we want to take we need to bring the totals over, right? So this is gonna equal um, this plus this, enter, all right? So that's my total for the week. I made over $2,000 for the week driving um, before, before all my expenses were taken out. So, and then this one, we can do this one in red because that's the expenses, and we're gonna have that one's gonna equal this guy right here, and then my new total will be right here. So we'll s no, we're gonna do this it equals this one minus this one. And return. So fifteen eighty four, fifteen twenty four. I'm sorry, that was my total for the week, like net earnings after all expenses were paid. That's what I made right there. And bold that up, bold it up. Um, yeah, that's it right there. So 1524.12 is my total earnings for that for last week. Um, like I said, that was a full week of driving. And, um, you know, Monday through Sunday. Now, I didn't drive constantly all day. Uh, it was broken up. I did. I was, I'm able to choose, pick and choose what times I want to drive. But I want you to see this so you can make better decisions for yourself and uh, get a better understanding of of you know what it is you're doing and are you making enough money can you make more money uh doing this in excel or do you want to do just the economy modes so that's it guys if you have any questions please feel free to reach out uh, i'd love to hear any of your questions or concerns and see what's going on um you know uh, this total right here <clears throat> we'll have to do this like break this down per ride that was like 27 rides on lift right 27 rides with lift so you take this and then we can divide that by oops escape no this equals this divided by 27 that's about 30 dollars per ride um and then how many did we do over here that's 50 trips equals this divided by 50 and that's 24.30 per ride. So I mean, I was making a little bit more on the lift side, but I did drive a lot of the um, the Uber. I made a lot for the Quest promotions 
the Quest and the consecutive trips promotion. So when I do that, I end up driving in the Uber X category a lot. So that's why those rides are a little bit less, less per. But other than that, it was a pretty good week. Um, you have to take advantage of every bonus that you can. And I just have to say, hey, good luck out there. You know, good luck. Good luck in, in your driving. Stay safe. Protect yourself. Get a dash cam if you want, if you can. You know, I put, um, I, I just set up my dash cam, but I have to get an SD card for it. So it's not, I don't have any video footage of it yet, but you can go ahead and check um, in the description below. I put a link for a dash cam there as well. Uh, the one that I got, the Vantra Pro. And um, you can check that out. Go check out the description on Amazon. And, and you can also see some other ones too, because that one's like 200, but you can get a much cheaper one. Um, I don't know how good it is though, but all right. Hey, thanks for watching. Please subscribe. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.